dress of confidence. When we talk about dress, what will you think about? For me, a dress will directly link to a fashion show. A show, a publicly show, a publicly held show that will show us the newest clothes. Indeed, fashion show was a very special event for me when I was 11. The first fashion show I had attended was introduced by my mother, and she had brought me to see a lot of different clothes and a lot of fancy girls. And basically, what does the models do on stage? They walk on stage, they try to make their clothes look very valuable, and for this purpose, they will be very confident. Therefore, as an 11 year old child, I asked my mother, Mom, can you tell me why are they so confident on stage? And my mother answered carelessly that because they are dressing up really beautiful. And this had affected me so much. I started to believe that your confidence is built by your dress. It's by your outside appearance. And this was not a very good idea. Indeed, it actually makes me really stubborn about this idea. It becomes distorted. I started to believe that our value is founded on our appearance, on our outside appearance. That is the least important. And for this purpose, I had struggled so much during high school here because I started to thought that I am not beautiful enough. I am not confident of how I look and, and therefore not confident of my own value. For this to actually change this, I had started, oh, you can't see, no, it's fine. I had started to do a lot of makeup. I had to buy a lot of dresses to conform myself, to tell myself that I am not valueless. However, the more makeup I put on my face, the more clothes I buy, and the newer the clothes, the less confident I am. Indeed, yeah, you, might, you might be able to see it. Indeed, it continued until my college school, college life. And this turned out that I started to lose my confidence not only about my appearance, but also about my academic achievements. By making so many confidence, I started to doubt myself. I started to ask myself, should I study in this school? Am I capable to do anything important? Will I be competitive in this international labor market? So I started to take a lot of really hard courses, including computer science. And I know, you, you should know how hard it is. And basically, at every time I am in front of my computer, I started to tell myself, you cannot make yourself pretty and you cannot make this out either. And this was a complete mistake. Because when I think about this, I was not able to work, to have a normal social network. What's happening? Okay. And it was basically ruining my high school year, um, college school. And I started to wonder, what is my own value? What will make myself the person I wanted to be? I was not able to answer this question by myself because the way that I used to create my confidence was based on my outside appearance. Therefore, I went to see a very, very important people in my life, a people full of wisdom. And that is the mother of my mother, my grandmother. And 
she had told me a conversation that I could never forget. She asked me to close my eyes, said, I will do you, I will ask you guys to do it, so please close your eyes, my audience. Imagine that you are on the millions of stars, that you are staring the uniqueness of these immortal eyes. Are they beautiful? I ask you. Yes, they are. They are pretty, they are shining, and they have been there for millions of years. My grandmother then answered, so if you can appreciate the beauty of these stars, why can't you appreciate your own beauty? Your beauty is not based on anything but yourself, your confidence, and your potential. This one had touched me so much, and I will invite you all to open your eyes. And in fact, my grandmother had quoted from Coco Chanel, if you are perfect, if, you, if a woman is poorly dressed, you notice her dress. And if she is impeccably dressed, you notice the woman. The appearance is only the medium for people to be able to see your value. But it is not everything. It is just a medium. So, I hope that you are thinking the same as me. And your value, my value, our value, is never founded on our dress or on our outside appearance. So I would like to say that I do not only have a dress of confidence, but I have an attitude that makes me confident.